yesterday I've received this package from Azrock in my mailbox and you don't know what was what I was expecting but this box is just too big for what I'm waiting for so let's have a closer look and let's see what's inside this box Okay, so this is really massive, no cap, but uh, as I said earlier, this is from Azrock, as you can uh, read right here, to Galaxy Setup, which is, guess who, me. Let's go, let's jump into the box. So, what we got here, a lot of uh, packaging, of course, because you don't want your products to be messed up during the shipping and that's always a bad thing and ooh there's a little box let me, a box inside a box uh, really a bag let's take it off and let's see what's inside it first of all a product which i'm not gonna show you yet you'll have to wait oh the plurible is breaking <laughs> because um uh, walking on it, but that's fine. We've got a uh, uh, what's this like paper holder from Azrock. This is really cool. The, the image on it it's the uh, Tai Chi, I think it's called something like that. There's another one which is nice because I always have a lot of uh, papers flying around in my desk, so it's pretty messy, but this will surely help. Then what we got, this, okay, and that's it, so we can remove the box, and let's see what else we've got. A little notebook, which I'm gonna take to school and I'm gonna actually use it, really, really cool, Steel Legend, which is one of the series of mobiles, it's completely black, so okay. That's nice. Let's take this here. A net. A cap. Let me open it up. <laughs> so we've got this really interesting pattern on the head, which it's I can see some fans and that's it. We have the Phantom Gaming logo on it. Not sure if you can see it. Let's see if okay, we better as you can see. Phantom Gaming also right here This part, I'm not sure how it's called But uh, this part is red, nice A t-shirt It's still legend Oh my god, this is really nice So, so says still true legend Not sure what it's written in Chinese I think This is really cool But it's really big also oh and there's also the Intel logo right here and this is a little bit a spoiler because as you may have already guessed or as you have written from the title here we go with the B460 steel legend from Azrock this is uh, the first LGA 200 mobile it's compatible so with the uh, 10th gen Intel processors it's ready for Opten and it's it has the Polychrome Sync which is uh, Azrock software for RGB managing so uh, let's see what's on the back of course a little preview as you can read uh, we've got some first specs of this mobile uh, as I said LGA uh, 1200 chipset we have the 7.1 channels speaker uh, system which is really really nice because I'm getting more and more into the audio system audio world and it's super nice to have some really good uh, audio connectivity on the mobile itself without any extra um, board we've got the 2.5 gigabits per second LAN which is also super nice because in some months I hope I'm gonna get the 
uh, one gigabit one gigabit fiber internet so super nice uh, we've got the dual ultra m2 which is gen 3 per 4 four lanes of gen 3 m2 ssd with 32 gigs per second of transfer speed we've got the m2 TE for Wi-Fi, it's not included of course, but you can plug in uh, one of those Wi-Fi cards. Okay, mm, those are old, many times found on uh, laptops. We've got the Polychrome RGB, which is, as I said, the software that manages the RGB. We've got some uh, Nikicon 12K black caps. Uh, those grants 1200, 12,000 hours of living, which is super nice. And the, the R MOS, which is a way that a chip that offers up to up to 50 ampere of continuous current for each phase. This mobile has nine phases, so that's some real heavy duty uh, power consumption. So this will be just fine even for your top tier CPU. No problem. Let's open it up and let's see what's inside. Oh. Okay, let's remove the outer box. So let's open it up and we've got the shielding shield. Okay, a single screw. Why is this screw so lonely? My god. <laughs> we've got some papers and the CD, I guess. Yeah. We've got some stickers, which is I always love to have stickers because I'll place them wherever I want. Some um, ties for the cable ties, so you can cable manage even uh, easier. The CD for the drivers, which I mean, no one has a CD or DVD reader today, but okay, that's fine. This is a postcard. What the hell? Mm, some paperwork, SATA cables, 90 degree. Uh, one it's 90 degree, the other one it's just standard. Another lonely screw. A standoff for, oh, those are for the M2 drives, of course. Uh, we have two standoffs and two screws, so that's why they're lonely as F. Well, let's get to the main piece today, which is, of course, the motherboard. Let's take it out and have a look at it. So, first thing I notice, uh, there's packaging even inside. Always great to have more packaging than you actually need, than less, because many times during shipping you've got many problems. So, let's take it out. And let's place it right here. The B460 Steel Legend from Asrock. This is a really nice board, lo nice looking board, I mean. Let's take it out. Can I? Of course I can, bro. And here we go. You know the beauty. Both, both uh, M2 slots are equipped with the with a meat sink which is nice, so your thermal's gonna be just fine. We have four uh, RAM slots, capable of up to 128 gigs of RAM, uh, up to 2,944 megahertz per single channel, so that's up like to uh, 5,400 in uh, dual configurations, but, but we're gonna talk about it a little bit deeper when I actually build on this mobile. Then we've got a PCIe e Gen 3. This is a little bit of a bummer because I would have preferred to see a Gen 4 on this mobile, but uh, the 10th Gen Intel is not capable yet of this technology, so I guess it makes sense. We've got the M2 Wi-Fi slot, then we've got another PCIe Gen 3 slot. We've got uh, six SATA ports for right here and two right here. 
We've got the uh, USB C connector, I think this is, USB 3 for the front, CPU fan, CPU fan, case fan, case fan, adder for the RGB, which I'm gonna use it because I'm gonna build it inside a Nantec DP502, which already has a RGB controller and I think it's uh, compatible with this motherboard from ASRock. Here we have an RGB writing, still, still legend, which is, as I said earlier, the name of this series. We've got the support for AMD Crossfire, which is like that, but if you still use it, there you go. We have the Ultra M2 PCIe Gen 3 per 4 lanes right writing on there then let's talk about the connectivity of this card all the ports that we've got we have uh, two usb 2 connectors a mouse slash keyboard connector like honestly never used it i'm too young i guess for it no clue uh, hdmi port display port two uh, USB type 3 ports, gigabit Ethernet, type C. This is really nice to see on this mobile, especially considering the price. This is listed for about 120, so that's not really uh, that expensive. We've got the massive audio system, audio outputs, which I've talked about a little bit earlier let's take off these armor plates for the m2 slots and let's, and let let's have a look at the connectors even if they're standard so uh, i'm not expecting anything uh crazy let's remove the panel so this is the spacing for the m2 slot and this is the north bridge width with which is covered by this thermal pod uh, but let's replace it maybe this oh yes this is going to be lighted by these four little leds which is really nice let's replace this uh cover here you go let's have a look at this other plate even if it's going to be just the same but we're here so we're gonna have a look at it and just as the other one this has a thermal but it's now covered with plastic so i can touch it with no uh, problems let's replace the shielding so this mobile also has four uh, led indicators which shows you which is the problem in your system if you have one i can't really show you because those are really tiny but let's try to okay as you can see right here it's written pretty uh, damn little but you can see there's boot vga dram and cpu this is really nice because uh, if you build your system and you've got a problem but you don't know which part of the system is your problem you're gonna spend literally hours trying to figure out uh, what part is having some problems which is what is fine so that's always nice to have but let's now talk about the bios uh, to enter it there's a really useful tool which is called asrock restart to wefi which <laughs> as you can imagine it restarts your system to wefi which means the bio bios and here we are inside the bios this is the ads mode i think it's called or like the easiest mode you can have and what can you do inside this mode uh, you have all the specification of your system as you can see the i3 uh 10,100 and that 16 gigs of memory uh on the a2 and b2 slot 8 gigs each we have all the sata connectors showing up the uh, cpu and if we switch to the advanced mode things start to get interesting because the look of this BIOS is garbage, I'll be honest, but the tools that it offers are incredible. 
First thing, a really nice thing, you have a QR code, which if you scan it, it downloads the manual. Very nice because I tend to lose them. And this is a, an easy way to find them. Here you have all the parts of your PC. Then, and all, also your favorites, which you can add, selecting from all the specifications, all the options you get. On the OC tweaker, so the overclock tweaker, we, got, we get a ton of features. The bass frequency boost can be set to auto or you can manually select the wattage you want to give to the PC, to the CPU, sorry. Then, if you're, if you're a professional overclocker or you just love to overclock your CPU and so on, you can set all different settings such as the ratio of sets, spread spectrum, uh, um, boot performance mod, the frequency of the RAM. A whole bunch of settings which I'm not gonna cover all in this video because this is not the point of the video. I'll probably to make a dedicated video for the overclocking. And same thing as for the RAM and the voltage of your CPU. Uh, you have a bunch of profiles, five uh, overclock profiles, you can save them, load them and so on. In advance we've got a whole new level of configurations for the CPU, for the chipset, the storage, uh, Intel Thunderbolt, which is the Type-C of course, Super IO configuration, ACPI, USB, Trusted Dead Computing. You have a lot of tools, the ASRock Polychrom RGB, which is the worst thing of the mobile because RGB managing right now is garbage. Wi-Fi tech service, easy raid, you can also make raid um, very easily. You've got all the monitoring for every part of your system. Security, if you wanna um, set a password for the BIOS. Uh, boot, manage, boot options, so if you have to install a new operating system or something like this, like that, you can boot from the LAN port. So that's really nice, not something you see very often on consumer grade mobiles. And of course, the exit section where you can discard changes and exit because I don't want to save unwanted changes that I might have done during this video. This was the unboxing of the B460 Steel Legend as you can read from this t-shirt. <laughs> By the way, it's really awesome. You'll find all the links for uh, the motherboard on the description. I haven't said it before but this is not a sponsored video. They sent me the sample unit but i'm not paid for this video basically <laughs> so stay tuned subscribe to see the build video